the last thing that we're going to talk about is how we actually can create these electromagnetic waves. So what we're going to start with is a simple model, and that is an electric dipole. So we have our positive charge and we have a negative charge. Now this creates a dipole field, which should look familiar. And what we're going to do is just think about it, a point over here on the right and what our electric fields are doing. Now imagine that this dipole gets flipped upside down a little bit later. Now at these points, the electric field is actually in a different direction. It's up. So if we actually sat here and just flipped our dipole up and down, that would actually create an electric field out here that's kind of going sinusoidally between up and down and up and down. And that starts to look like part of an electromagnetic wave. And once you have part of an electromagnetic wave, you actually do have the whole thing. So the simplest model for creating electromagnetic radiation is imagining an electric dipole where either you are moving these up and down sinusoidally so that you have plus on top and then you have plus on bottom or you can think about this as as rotating it but either you're rotating it or you're moving these two back and forth and you're creating that electric field that's going from down to up that is then the begin beginning of your electromagnetic wave what this looks like in practice is an antenna and we drive it with an, oscillate, an oscillating voltage. So we have this oscillating voltage source there and that basically creates in our wire this changing distribution of charge. Negative charge on top, positive charge on bottom, that should look like a dipole. So as this oscillates back and forth, that then at a later time flips this to being positive top, negative on bottom, and so forth. So that then creates that electric field that I talked about on the, the last slide that goes between up and down and up. But if you have a changing electric field, that induces your magnetic field. And so you also have a changing magnetic field that in this case must be going in and out of the page if it's propagating to the right. So we don't have to do very much to actually create this. We just basically jiggle some electrons back and forth. Again, not just electrons, but if we have a dipole, that's the simplest way to think about it. So we separate some charges, we slosh them back and forth. That creates an electric field that starts sloshing back and forth and boom, everything else just happens for you. And again, the rest of this happening comes from just Maxwell's equations and thinking about a changing electric field, creating a changing magnetic field, and then how that will automatically propagate outwards. So fundamentally, that antenna is the basic way to create this. Again, you're creating basically a dipole that is flipping up and down. One final thing to think about is that this uh, propagation speed is fixed at C, the speed of light, but you can still adjust your frequency or your wavelength. Remember that they're tied together, so you can't control both of them. So typically the rate of oscillation here, like how fast is this flipping, that tells you what the frequency of this is going to be. So even though the frequency of a radio wave looks really, really fast, compared to other types of electromagnetic radiation, it's actually pretty slow. So we're, we frequently talk about megahertz or gigahertz, and that's going to be radio waves, um, microwaves, things like that. So the frequency that you flip this back and forth, that is what gives you the frequency of your wave, because C, your speed is fixed, that also will allow you to calculate what wavelength you automatically get.